I'm sure a lot of people are going, well, this guy has a lot closer relationship with the defense contractors than I realize. That's not actually true. I just live with a guy from Lockheed Martin who um, told me about how, like, we have weapons that can aim in fog, like infrared, like, like normally infrared can't aim in fog and ours can. He told me about how we have uh, guns that aim automatically. Like, you can, say, cover this entire area and if you see any movement, kill anything in this area. Like, you could cover a beach um, with a computer. And um, he also, like I said, told me about foreign spies. And, I mean, I know other people from the defense industry, too. The guy who gave me a ride to do my hunger strike, he was from Lockheed Martin. Um, and after I did my hunger strike, I met a guy from Raytheon. Um, and I also met a four-star general. The, he was the general to Korea. Um, so, um, I, I feel like these people in the defense industry are going, you like foreign spies? Do you know how much I hate foreign spies? Like, you don't understand how much they drive me nuts because foreign spies are always trying to steal our technology and they're always trying to infiltrate us. Um, I know some other, like when I was, uh, when I was living with the guy from Lockheed Martin, I met a lot of people that were in the defense industry. Um, that was when I was, you know, that area where, you know that mass shooter in Santa Barbara, the Asian guy that killed all those people? He used to hang out where I hung out at the Starbucks. and uh, But I didn't really meet people from the defense industry there. I met people from the defense industry at a party. But the point I'm trying to make is a lot of people don't like spies. Why do I like foreign spies? Well, it's kind of like, why do I like Andrew Yang? Because he's a smart guy. He's, he's a talented guy. Um... And he, yeah, yes. So I'm getting all these comments on my phone. They're going, you're racist, you're racist. And it's like, okay, actually I got told that Andrew Yang, that his dad was a foreign spy. And that's why. It wasn't because I just, out of nowhere, um, decided Andrew Yang's a foreign spy because he's Asian. And why do I like foreign spies? Because they tend to be really, really talented people. It's kind of like this girl that I used to hang out with all the time. And we went to see a Jimmy Eat World concert. And, and um, uh, we, uh, had a, we, we spent a lot of time together. And she's from China. And she's so sweet. And she's so pretty. And she's smart. And she's getting her PhD. And I, and I think that she was too scared to um, do a lot of hacking stuff. Because being around her, like, we, like, one time we went downtown together. And there were people following us. Like down like the middle of nowhere, and um, and it was pretty obvious they were following us. Um, but um, so, but why do I like foreign spies? It's because they tend to be super talented, and if they settle here, like do I? No matter what happens, China will never touch us as far as technology goes. Like there, it's going to be night and day between what we have and what they have. And um, who is probably the number one source of foreign spies since World War II? It's not very hard to figure out. Well, actually, Russia, would you would think, Japan is probably the number one. But Japan and Russia are probably the, the top two. Um, <clears throat> but those spies they send tend to be the smartest people. Because if you have... It's kind of like uh, the NSA tends to bring in the smartest talent to work for them. It's the same thing. Um, like when you're the smartest, you get to go do, do something special, which is it racist to think that, um, China would want to send a ton of foreign spies here after MacArthur has sat there threatening to nuke them. Like where he's publicly telling everyone we need to nuke China. Obviously it's not racist to think that it, to, to go, Oh, maybe I'd want to send foreign spies to send my spies to that country. If to steal their technology, if they're threatening to nuke me all the time, because MacArthur was crazy about it. He, he was, he was, he really thought we needed to nuke China, which a lot of people historically have been afraid of China. Um, why are we not afraid of China? Because we knew that there's no way you're ever going to really touch our technology. And if we want to kill everyone in China, we can. The problem is, um, with, with someone like Andrew Yang, who... I believe is a for, is the child of a foreign spy, which probably a foreign spy that had a very, 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 very negative view of the United States. Not just a foreign spy, which 
foreign spies a lot of the time tend to have negative views of the United States. Not always. A lot of the time, like, Indian spies have a very positive view of the United States. But are there a lot of Indian spies? <sighs> Whoa. A lot of them. A lot of people from India are spies. Um, like, where they, they work for RAW, which is an intelligence agency in India. Um, but... All I'm saying is it's not racist to think that to, to think this guy is uh, is the child of a foreign spy because it's actually logical. It's very logical. But what's not racist is thinking that spies are good because we get to bring in the most talented people. Uh, okay, Israel is kind of a place where we bring all the Jews that are super smart, right? Like we like to congregate super smart people together. The United States is where we congregate super smart people from all over the world. So... When these people want to infiltrate our government and steal our technology and learn from us a lot of the time, it's not always about stealing. It's about learning. Um, a lot of the time, they're the smartest people. And that's why we like bringing them here. And that's why uh, in, the in the tech world, a lot of the smartest people aren't from the United States. But you know what? They're here now and they're super talented. But in the event of a nuclear war with China, do you, do you think Andrew uh, Yang would have a conflict of interest? He's, gonna, he's not going to want to kill people enough. And that puts us at a risk. And you need someone that's going to want to kill people enough in charge of the government. No matter what you think, you need to make sure you got someone who's down to kill everyone. And that, at least that's my opinion. Do I think Barack Obama would have been down to kill everyone? Hopefully. Like, hopefully he would have. He probably would have. Would he be down to kill everyone in Africa? Probably not, because they're not a real threat. But would he have been down to kill everyone in China? I feel like he would have been. Um... So, um, but, um, all I'm saying is there's a reason I like foreign spies. It's because I'm not as racist as you think I am.